Here's an update on my CNC scroll saw project. If you haven't seen the previous version, you can go check out that video now. This latest version uses a standard XYZ Cartesian coordinate system with an additional U-axis to rotate the blade while it's cutting. Since I'm driving the up and down movement with a stepper motor, I can time the rotation of the blade so that it occurs on the upstroke. And we can move a fixed distance on every downstroke, which means we can tune in a nice surface finish. The two aluminum L profiles there provide support from the bottom and prevent the workpiece from bending upwards too much on the upstroke. And here you can just make out the workpiece moving in and out as it finishes up this test cut. This piece took around eight minutes from start to finish. Here's the shape and the piece which fit together really well. And this was a test cut I did from earlier. This close up shows the finish that the saw blade leaves. You can see that it's really smooth and there's practically no burrs or fuzziness on either the top or the bottom surface. One thing I experimented with was adding a counterweight on a pulley system to hopefully increase the speed at which I could move the saw blade. This worked at the same speeds I was using before, but once passing a certain threshold, the counterweight would continue moving upward after the saw blade was past top dead center and on its way down. Then when the counterweight finally started moving back down, it tried to jerk the whole frame back upwards and is the clicking sound you hear here. Here's a section view of the top half of the saw arm. The blade is inserted into the small hole here and held by these two set screws. Attached with an indexing screw is a GT2 pulley, which would have a pulley that gets attached to the drive shaft here. The blade holder has an M4 all thread loctited in and can then be tightened by turning this nut up here. This lets the blade get tensioned. This nut rides on a thrust bearing, which takes the load onto the aluminum bar. Inside the bar are two radial bearings, which let the whole movement rotate freely. These bearings are held in place with a 3D printed block. Here's a preview for an alternative design that I'd like to explore soon. The main limitation with the current design is the rate at which the saw blade can move up and down. Currently it moves at about 2 hertz, or 2 strokes per second. Since the entire C-frame needs to be moved up and down, complete with all the bearings, shafts, and stepper motor needed to control the blade rotation, this is a pretty hard limitation as the entire assembly weighs about 2.5 pounds. In order to end up with the same degrees of freedom, but moving a smaller mass, we can instead try to move the saw blade and its holder up and down with a stationary frame. The stationary frame is here in red, and the blade would be attached to this teal aluminum profile seen here. It has to be at least a circle with a keyway or some kind of spline in order to transmit torque, but uh, the aluminum profiles like 2020 V-slot or 10 by 10 micro racks or the five millimeter nano beam are all options that are lighter weight and more accessible to also create bearings for. Here you can see the main bearing which would hold the swivel portion is in yellow. Attached to that is a stand-in for a pulley along with a wheel assembly that could rotate on the inner race of the bearing. This lets the profile move up and down and by driving the pulley we can rotate the blade inside of itself. Connected at the top here would be another bearing which then gets driven by the crank arm linkage as before or some other type of reciprocating motion in order to move the entire thing up and down while still allowing the entire profile to rotate. This type of combined rotary and linear motion can be found 
on many scara arms and is commonly called a z theta motion not dissimilar from either a drill press or tool changers in cnc machines there are some special bearings for this called rotary spline bearings but i can't find any that are small enough or e affordable or even what the price are which means that they're too expensive if you know of any other mechanisms that allow this rotary and linear motion, I'd love to hear them. My first goal would be to get the blade to move at about 10 hertz or five times faster than it currently is. I think this is only possible by exploring this design as it lowers the moving mass while still giving full rotary control.